Hi guys, happy Halloween and welcome back to a Halloween special on Make Me Up. I'm makeup artist Lily Keys and I'm going to be showing you how to recreate the scary zombie makeup look today. Okay, so we've got a beautiful face of makeup here and now we're going to zombify it. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a gunshot wound to the head and I'm using this product, it's called Nose and Scar Wax and it's by Ben Nye. To do specialist SFX makeup, you will need to go to a specialist makeup store such as Screen Face or Charles Fox or you can probably get these online as well. So basically what it is, it's Caucasian flesh coloured but we can darken this up if you do have dark skin. Um, it's like a wax. So what we're going to do is just grab some out. I'm using these little wooden moulding tools and get a piece about this size. What you're going to do is just roll it into like a worm shape. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect. And then we're going to make it into a circle like so. Then I'm going to find a place to put it on the face. What I really like doing is putting it on somewhere that's quite flat and is not going to move so much. If you put it on the cheeks or anywhere around here, when you smile and talk, it could fall off, which could be quite embarrassing. So what I'm going to do is put it on the forehead. So if you take your finger and you just kind of smush the one side of it down, around, and basically you're doing this all around the outer edge of the circle. As you can see, it's already looking like some sort of weird open wound on the head. So I'm just going to really get in there. Don't touch the inner circle, we're just doing it on the outer one. It's another great use for these tools, these wooden tools, also that I got from uh, Screen Face, um, because you can actually mould with them. They're perfect for doing this sort of thing. Okay, so next I'm going to use a sealant. I'm using this one. This is from Screen Face as well, and it's called Sealer for theatre, film, and TV. What you're going to do is just take a brush, just put a little bit in there, and what we're going to do is just put it around the outer bits of the scar so it basically seals off and you don't get a big lump of prosthetic dropping off mid Halloween party. This is really easy to take off. You just peel the whole thing off when your night is done. I'm going to be doing the inner scar now and I'm using my black grease paint. I got this palette from Screen Face many years ago, but you can also use any black eyeliner or you can use a black hole pencil for this. So with a very small brush, just gonna take it right in the corners there, over there, just kind of like edge it out a bit. I'm now using my red colour from the same palette. Again, you can use a red lip liner for this with a small brush again, or with your red liner, you can just go straight on with your pencil. I'm now putting the red and mixing it in with the black, kind of in the middle. Maybe taking it out a bit on the cracks like this that we've already made. For the next step, you need congealed blood. You can get fake blood, it doesn't matter if you just get runny fake cheek blood as well, but this is better because it's a bit stickier. And you need some cotton balls or cotton pads. I've torn my cotton pad in half because I want to get some little bits like this. So I've got some cotton wool that I've dipped in my fake blood so it looks like this meaty bit of grossness right here. And we're just going to take a little bit and I'm just going to put it in the wound. It doesn't matter at all if you get blood everywhere because not supposed to look neat and tidy. So with the congealed blood, I'm just using the lid because I need a tiny bit. I'm going to take a tiny little lip brush and with the blood, I'm just going to dip it in here, make it really gross. And I'm going to try and make a little droplet come out as well. Onto the bruises next, and I'm going to do a little bit of a bruising situation around this wound and also under the eyes to really zombify up the face. I'm going to be using my grease paints again. What I do is um, take a little bit out of each one. So I'm going to take a brown, a blue, yellow, all your classic bruise colours. So you have to be quite light-handed about this. I take a little bit from each colour, make sure that you've got kind of a bruisey colour. It should be like this. So what I'm going to do is just kind of very lightly give some bruises around here. 
concentrate most of the colour here and kind of edge out there. So you can do some different colours, we don't want it to look too um, symmetrical. So I'm going to get some red here, almost like a road rash situation going on here. So with my sponge, you can get any like kind of like hard spongy thing, you can get this from Screen Paste as well or Charles Fox. I'm going to put it in my black grease paint. And this is to show that I've been in a gigantic car crash when I've been eating people or something. You just put it on the skin and then you just take it around like that. So it looks like you've just been in some weird fight. Just kind of. So I'm now going to be going back to my fake blood and I'm using this uh, wooden tool that I used before. This one's got a serrated edge on the one side, but it's not going to be painful because we're going to be using it flat along the face. So I just dip it into my fake blood and I'm just going to scrape it along here to kind of go along with this, you know, road accident thing that I've got. Back to the blood again and this time we're going to go blood crazy. So don't worry about the taste of this because it is totally edible. We want it to look as realistic as possible. So I'm basically putting it in the corner of the mouth and then I'm going to make like a whole drop come down. Now I'm going to go back to my grease paint palette and I'm using my lip brush, taking the black, now going just in the inner lip because we are actually dead, so we do want to look a bit freaky. I'm now going to be dripping some blood out one eye, now you have to be careful to not let this get in your eye, so just do it just outside of it. Don't put anything near your eye. And I'm going to take a Q-tip just to make this look really realistic. So now just to complete this whole look, going back to my little hand palette of grease paint colours and I'm going to darken up the eyes, darken up anything around the, um, around the, the wound on the side of the face and just make it really freaky. I'm going to also do some bruising around this wound here. So here you have it guys, the finished zombie look for Halloween today. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tune in to see me next week on Make Me Up. Thanks guys, happy Halloween. Bye.